Let me finish off by showing you a few more enhancements that we've made in our latest release. These include a redesign of our logs and settings pages, the ability to define custom capping periods, and enhancements to our widget. So let me cover these off in turn. So let's kick off with the logs page. The logs page has been redesigned with a new structure. We've turned it into a hub for all logging information in DE. The distribution logs tab includes logs for assignments as it's always done. You have the ability to filter by dates, statuses, objects, and teams. In addition, we have column sort for assignment data name, object, team, distributor, and assignee. You can view more information on the assignment by single clicking a row, which will open up this very useful side panel. And we have a search facility here on the top right. We've moved the classifier logs for territory and lead matching to this tab. And we've also added new logging for auto conversion, deduplication, and object sync actions. So all logs are now shown in a consistent way. Moving forward, all new logging information will be accessible from this central hub. The settings page has also had a new lick of paint. We've consolidated and reorganized settings for the whole app, including classifier logging and the existing distribution settings in one place. We have a new advanced settings page for processing mode and frequency. So information on how distribution engine runs is now more visible. In response to customer requests, we've introduced a way of reporting on distribution engine users. So bringing together managed package license usage and team membership information that was previously separate. In addition, you now have the ability to export a list of users as a CSV file. Here at the bottom, you'll find our export import options, which if you remember from Impala, allows import and export of teams and tag collections. So the settings page is now more intuitive and provides more intelligent options under sensible headings. Reporting on users and managed package licenses is more transparent an export of users allows easier tracking outside of distribution engine, as well as export and import options all in one place. Another great feature we've added into Jellyfish are custom capping periods. Previously, time-based caps could be set at half hourly, hourly, weekly, or monthly intervals. We've listened to feedback from customers who asked for more control over the period. What we've introduced in this release across both team and distributor caps is the ability to define how long you want your capping period to be. So this can be five minutes or it can be 31 days or anything in between. So you've now got the flexibility to set capping at intervals that work for you. The widget was developed to allow users to self-manage their daily workload, including viewing their assignments, toggling themselves on or off, or requesting more work when they had spare capacity. In Jellyfish, it's had a couple of enhancements. Firstly, we've added a My Work section, which shows up to five records that a user has been assigned. And if they click the Assign to Me link, they can view all of the records assigned to them via a separate modal. In addition, you can now also view missed SLAs, the countdown is shown for each record's remaining SLA time under the Assigned to Me heading. Users are able to sort the Assigned to Me section so that those with the shortest remaining SLA time are shown first. The widget is available in both classic and lightning versions of Salesforce and can be added to console and standard applications. We feel it is a nice way to bring DE into people's workflows and lets them manage their work and gives them a little more information on what DE is doing for them.